So what I'm playing on that song uh, starts off, so basically I have a capo on the first fret to make it a little easier. You can play it without a capo, but in order to do some of the, the little picking and chords to get some of the sounds, I wanted to, to throw the capo on. It makes it a little nicer, okay? So you're going to start up here. Well, I'll just show you the little, this part here. So you just play it open with the capo. If not, you're going to put your finger on the first fret. I'm just gonna kind of do that. Come up here to the fourth fret. All right, for me, if you have the capo on, it'll be the third from the capo. You slide it up here. All right, so you have five, seven, nine. It's the ninth fret, uh, eighth from the capo, but the ninth actual fret. You just keep doing that, and you move it down one to the eighth. all you do uh, pretty much throughout the, the whole time that there, there's well it does that for all the verses and then through the rap until the one of the little pre-chorus parts uh, if you want to play the chords in relation to the capo it's gonna play it it's gonna be like a C major seventh okay so you're gonna put it here now remember because I have the capo you have to adjust all right so for me it would be the C major seventh seventh shape okay now I play it here open so I just put my finger here this one here and leave the rest of the strings open on the bottom so it's just going to sound like okay then you go to a b minor seventh shape all right bar the second fret throw a finger here throw one here all right so it's going to sound like this so and uh this would be like an e minor seventh okay so you're gonna just come up. Now you can play it uh, with just the one finger, E minor 7th. You could just play the E minor shape with the two fingers there. Basically just make it E minor shape. Uh, now what I do is I throw this finger here. Alright. And then you're going to make a D shape, but with this finger over it. So it's going to be like a... That's what I played. All right. Now the next thing is uh, the the pre-chorus is a little different. So you do that through the verses. Oh yeah. Well, let me show you the part of the pre-chorus. Okay. So you're gonna go to, 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 to a D to an F. Well, E. I have to remember with the capo. So C major seventh to the D to the E minor seventh to a G shape. But before you switch back, make sure you hit this, if you can, this uh, B minor 7. So what I do is I play the G, and then I throw these two fingers. I put one here and one here. So it sounds like a... Da, 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 da. G. I hit those notes. So this one. Mainly these three notes back to this hit that then you go back to C major D to this diminished chord here which uh, this is a little tricky if you can just play just put one finger here one of them's gonna go here and this one's gonna come over here so it's gonna sound like this now, if you can, you can bar all three of those, move your finger, and it's going to go. But you can get away with just playing those three. And then what it does is there's a line with the keys that's doing like a... It's doing like a... And then it goes to this... It sounds like it goes to the F uh, or the E, E minor 7th or whatever. All right? So... Sorry, I keep saying F because it's actually an F, but I have to remember what the capo is. So, alright, so. Alright, 
back to the C major 7, to a D. Now I come up here. Alright. You can play any kind of D, but just go to a D there. Uh, and then also the rest of the other part of that is just like I showed you this part. There's a part on the pre-chorus also while it's doing the first the first part of the pre-chorus. You come up here. This is what would be the 13th fret. All right, to the 11th. So it's like a da 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 da. Back up here. And then what you do is you 12, 13, 14, 15, the 16th fret. And you come to this one underneath, half step down. Alright, then the 15th fret on the bottom E string. And you're going back up to the 16th there. You can, if you want, maybe go up like to that thing or whatever, so it's going to be like a... What I do is I just play the uh, C shape, but what I'm doing is I'm putting one finger here, one here, and one there, alright, and I'm muting the rest, so I'm only hitting, so, I just go, slide it up and do a D, alright, then I come up here, I'm muting, I'm hitting this note, All right, all I'm doing there is I'm putting this one here, this one on the bottom, right under it, and then this one here, okay? And I'm muting the two strings in between. So, then I slide it up a full step, and I put my pinky here. So, it's the same shape, except I'm throwing this pinky up, so this finger is now going to be... This one you can keep there, just use your pinky there. So it's going to sound like... So it's like a... Alright, so from what I can tell, that's the chords they're using in the song. Uh, during the verses, uh, during that part... Sounds like the C major 7th shape, B minor 7th, E minor 7th, that uh, F sharp over D. In this case, remember this is with the capo, so it would actually be, uh, what would this be, E flat, so G over E flat. Alright. No. I'm not sure. Hold on a second. I'm all confused. Oh. Yeah. G. Alright, so anyways. Uh, that's the song, and hopefully this helps with some of the chording. I can put it... I'll put the chords I played in the, in the description, so hopefully that helps. Uh, hopefully it came out better. The other video, I just felt like it was too like, twangy. Not enough mixed well, so hopefully this one sounded okay. Anyways, have a great day.